I'll be honest. When making videos for this channel, there have been a few times that I've stopped and wondered, what in God's name am I doing here? Why am I wasting my life on this? Trying to create an excellent throw guide for Shadow Lugia was one of these moments. This Pokemon appeared over the last weekend in 5 Star Shadow Raids, and I have to admit that it utterly confounds me. I was camping with my family this past weekend, and we were fortunate enough to have a number of Pokemon Go gyms around us so we could participate in the event. Despite a poor internet connection, we were able to gather enough players to take down a Shadow Lugia. Fortunately, we had the benefit of Niantic disabling the Enrage mechanic for these raids due to a bug. After finishing the raid, I was quickly shocked and frustrated to discover that my usual technique simply doesn't work. Typically for 5 star raids, I will use the Circle Lock technique. On a normal Pokemon like this Articuno, this is a way to avoid the possibility of an attack wasting a Premier Ball by throwing during the attack. But Circle Lock doesn't seem to work for Shadow Lugia. Its attack animation is quite long, and its catch circle appears well before the animation is complete, and while the Pokemon is so high on the screen that its excellent catch circle isn't hittable, even with a max distance throw. I tried this a number of times, but was barely able to hit higher than the Pokemon's feet. Most of my throws weren't even landing in the gray circle, let alone in the catch circle. This isn't a problem of the Pokemon's normal position, but rather the Pokemon's position during the part of its attack, right when its catch circle reappears, which is too high to hit. We know this because in its normal position, locked by a Nanad Berry, the Lugia Excellent Throw is actually very straightforward. But I should emphasize that you should not attempt to catch Lugia with Nanad Berries, because a Nanad plus an Excellent Throw actually has a lower catch rate than a Golden Raspberry plus a Normal Throw. The real issue is that for an Excellent Throw to be possible, because the Pokemon is so high during its attack, you have to wait until almost the end of the animation. By this time, the Pokemon is eligible to attack again, so you lose the benefit of circle locking. While Niantic has reduced the frequency of Shadow Lugia's attacks for this round of raids, it still attacks extremely often, so circle locking and throwing late isn't a reliable technique. On top of that, the timing of the circle size is quite tricky, because the circle will change size while you're throwing. Unfortunately, I ran out of catch attempts and was unable to get any excellent throws on Lugia with circle lock. In an attempt to be a well-adjusted human who doesn't obsess over a mobile game, I decided that, instead of chasing more Lugia raids, I would abandon the pursuit and enjoy the trip. So I put up a community post about my failure, commiserated with many of you, and tried to forget about it. But of course, my failure nodded me. The throw seemed so out of reach that I just couldn't understand it. I simply didn't have much hope that if I did another raid, I would have any greater success. But, as luck would have it, after returning from camping on Sunday night, I had a second opportunity at Lugia. A second chance to study the excellent throw and try to come up with something, anything, to say in this video. I knew I had to try something different. After thinking it over, I had a thought. While the timing of a normal circle lock doesn't work for Lugia, which makes it an unviable strategy, there may be another approach that I hadn't considered. The basis for circle locking is that a Pokemon can't attack during its attack, but it also can't attack while it's moving up and down. This means that properly timing throws while Lugia is moving from its up position to its down position might be a reliable method to achieve excellent throws. During my second raid attempt, I was able to accomplish two excellent throws with this technique. The trick is to set the catch circle at about 50%, then wait for the Pokemon to float down. While it's floating down, throw the ball. While you're throwing, the catch circle will get a little smaller and be the correct size for the excellent throw by the time you release the ball. Be careful. If you make the circle too small to start, then you'll get a nice instead, like this. Interestingly, I was also able to get an excellent throw via circle lock with a very late throw, but I will emphasize that this is not a reliable technique, because the timing is such that Lugia can attack before the throw lands, like this. This was a fairly unsatisfying video to make. The fact is that Shadow Lugia's excellent throw is uniquely difficult among all excellent throws in the game, due to a combination of a long attack, it being too high to hit while it's attacking, and its high attack frequency. Unlike every other Pokemon in the game, throwing while the Pokemon moves down is the technique that I would recommend for the highest chance of an excellent throw with a Golden Raspberry. Thanks for watching. 
to see the rest of the excellent Pokédex, please hit like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.